Good evening, everybody, and welcome to this webinar uh, on the new features and the latest version of Estimator Express um, that was released in mid-October. Um, but you may not have it yet. The, the software isn't prompting you uh, as yet to, uh, to download the software. Um, so you need to go to our, to our website, to the update section, and, uh, and download it there. Um, the software should start fairly soon. Um, we, no we normally release it uh, and just send out emails initially, um, and then when so so that it doesn't overrun support. Basically, we let let people trickle in, and then any questions they have, they they'll uh, they'll ring up. We don't want people to be all good at the same time, and then all all, all ring up and, and and have to wait to speak to uh, to, to Joe or Tom to chat about it. Um, but yeah, it's been out. Uh, it's been out. Uh, about a month and a half now. Um, so if you haven't got it already, you can go to the website and download it. Uh, my name is Jim Pizzi, and I'm one of the, one of the developers here at HBXL. Um, so I was working on on putting this update together um, with colleagues. Um, so I'm going to be talking you through the changes with this release, and then a bit about what we're uh, what we're working on, ready for the next next release of the software. Um, so hopefully you can see my screen and see the Estimator Express dashboard. Um, just a, a little bit quickly about the the webinar software um, that you've got there. You should have a, a questions section um, that, that where you're able to, to type in questions. So please do. Um, if uh, if anything comes to mind, if I'm not explaining things properly, or you have questions related to what, what we're looking at today, please send those in and I will uh, try intermittently to, to to look over to see if you if you've sent any in and, and answer those alternatively at the end if you have any other questions. Um, yeah, please fire them at me and I will uh, do my best to answer those for you. Okay, so let's let's get started. Um, so the um, on, on the dashboard, you'll see there are a couple of couple of new tiles here. Um, the first one may look different depending on how you bought the software. Um, so if you bought the software outright, it'll look like mine. It'll say support and updates and tell you how many days till expiry. Um, or if you bought it on a subscription, it will it will say software subscription, I think, and X days until uh, until until expiry. So. Basically, it's uh, yeah, it's it's telling you how long until your current sub subscription of software or support and updates expires. Um, and then the second one uh, just lists the, the various software features, um, and depending on the version of software that, that you bought, um, you'll have different ticks and crosses in in there. Uh, and then when you've got a cross, there, there's a there's a link to add feature if you want to learn a bit more about that to see if it's if it's one that would be useful to you. Um, so we added, we added both of those based on customer feedback, either um, yeah, not, not, not knowing where they are at with their, with their subscription or their, or their support, um, and not knowing what the software could do that they didn't have. Um, so yeah, we added, added those in based on, based on feedback over the phones um, that, that that would be useful. So, uh, so there they are. Um, right, so let's now, I'm going to create a new job um, and I'm going to pick a quote from a custom job template. Okay, so on this screen you'll see we've added in uh, those first two options, loft conversion and garage conversion. Um, ready to signpost that using a custom template is the recommended method for these job types. Um, so pick, picking any of those four custom templates gives you exactly the same estimating experience. Um, it just picks a suitable specification, so you'll get a, a, a renovation specification for any of those three, and probably a new build or, or may, may, maybe an extension spec for the customized build. Um, and, then, and then it just gives you a different picture at the top of the quote template. But uh, yeah, it's, it, it, it's really just, um, and again, people, fairly frequently, people ring up and say, 
I need to do a lot of conversion. How do I how do I start kind of thing? So it, it's it's really just just to signpost you um, when we're not available to to uh, to an answer that question. That yeah, a custom template is the best way to go. Um, and uh, yeah, and um, um, and then after that, certainly with a loft conversion, we've got a very good um, video on the on, on the support site um, and a downloadable PDF, I believe it is, um, just showing you uh, the different sections of a of a quote template to go for a loft conversion and 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 uh, and how to approach it differently if it's a if it's a new build or a or a conversion of an existing building so if you if you uh, are doing loft conversions and aren't aren't too too confident uh, with that then well worth a look um okay so i'll i'm, I'm going to pick uh the loft conversion and so yeah as i said it, it will default to the renovation spec I'm gonna, i can obviously change that if i want to um and it'll give me a job name of loft conversion so uh you obviously want to change that to uh, to your customer name, otherwise you'll end up with a uh, 50 jobs all called loft conversion. It'll be very hard to uh, to decipher them. Um, so I'll 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 leave it like that um, and click to create a job. Okay, so here I am with, with, with within my job. Um, so the bulk of of the changes within this version of software are are doors. Um, so I'm going to start in the in the external door section. Um, and if you haven't been in, if you haven't got the software yet, you'll you'll notice that there are a load of new options appearing. So um, what we've done is we've replaced. If I just scroll down, we've replaced all of these options that say select templated. Um, so the templated bifold French. Uh, actually, not not the garage doors, uh, patio and pedestrian doors. So those those four items have been replaced with select bifold patio door from catalog or select bifold door an existing wall from catalog. <coughs> um, so the the downside of the, the the these templated doors have been in the software for gosh most most of them for about for about twenty twenty or more or more years. Um, but the, the the downside of those is that they have a a hard coded set of products in them. So they they've obviously got the door, great. Um, but then they've got they've specified a lintel and a cavity closer. So all of those are set up with a with a um, lintel and cavity cavity closer suitable for a hundred mil cavity wall. Um, so that's not um, that's not a lot of use in most cases. Um, so what what we've done is we've instead of just going through and updating them all to be um, to be uh, say uh, I don't know 140 mil suitable 140 mil cavity you know you you're still going to end up well is it an existing wall is is it is it a new wall what's the wall construction you're going to have different different requirements you know do I want to use a is it going into a cavity wall do I want to use a cavity uh, a combination lintel do I want to single skin lintels, or do I want to steal? You know, all, all 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 the different options that you may need to change it to. Um, so we decided that it wasn't wasn't a good idea uh, the way that the way that that was set up. So we've we've converted over all of those um, to have estimating calculators that work uh, more like the um, the pocket door that we that we released uh, a number of months ago. Um, so if you, yeah, if you if, if you've seen that, um, the and, and I'll sh I'll show you a minute when I go into one, but but you get options of of what you want to do to to add support above the opening. So do you want a combination lintel? Do you want loose steels? Do you want a steel with a plate? Do you want concrete lintels? Do you want single leaf steel lintels? Um, or do you want nothing because there's, you know, the, the, there's already a, an opening and, and suitable support there. Um, so it allows you to <coughs> to pick from all, all, all the different options that you may need, and then to and then to pick a cavity closer again if required. You may not need one, or 
otherwise we've, we've got a, a, a list ranging from I think it's about 50 mil to 140 mil so so you you, you can pick what's suitable for the for the job that you've got um so a, 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 as it is with the with, with the template ones you'd have to remember and, and go in and, and and delve down into the specification through the resources wizard or open up the calculator and rem remember to go in and change those so you know it, it's something that's easily forgotten you end up with the wrong with the wrong uh, wrong things being being specified in your job so it's it, it's to yeah it's to make sure that you get get everything priced up correctly, get the right things specified so that your material or order list make more sense when you when you come to do the job as well. Um, uh, the, the, the other thing that that we've done um, is that e each of these have um, have uh, so bifold patio door from catalog. So that that's into a newly constructed wall, but we've also done one for <coughs> into an existing wall. So again, up until now, we, there hasn't really been an easy way of, of saying, oh, I need to install this into an existing wall. Um, so so we, we've, we've got that option with all, all door types now. Um, so it will, it will allow you to say, right, I'm forming a new opening into an existing wall, or I'm, um, uh, I'm, I'm replacing an opening of the same size, or I'm... Um, uh, I'm, I've got an existing opening. I need to make it bigger, and uh, and, 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 and and install it that way. Um, so 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 yeah, you you've got got all the, all those options now. Um, so the the bifold patio door. So they're replacing the old uh, aluminium, softwood, hardwood, or PVC bifold door calculators. Um, and then if I scroll down a bit. We've got a uh, select external door, um, and that one is replacing the front door, the back door, and the garage pedestrian door calculators. Then we've got the uh, the French door, which uh, are replacing the, the hardwood and PVCU French door calculators. Um, but they've got a much larger range of doors available in, in them uh, than before. So I'll I'll, I'll Go in, go into that in a, in a second. Show you, uh, and finally we've got sliding patio doors, and again, and again, <coughs> much bigger selection in there uh, than before. So let's let's start with that. We'll do a sliding patio door, and we're going to do it into an existing wall, um, just to to, to to show you that because again, that that's that's new. Okay, so I'm sure you'll be you'll be familiar with this this kind of process from other other calculators so it's it's what yeah it's what what we uh internally call the picker we probably don't, but, um but yeah so so we've got lots of different doors that you can choose from so uh historically in the software i think we, we only had three sizes of of uh of double doors so you can see we've now got the three pane and the and the four pane doors so so there's a a, a greater variety to to pick from as with everything, I'm sure you sure you're going to want want one that we don't have, but uh, <laughs> we we try we try our best. Um, so let's um, and and then on the on the left hand side we've got we've got different filters, so you can filter to a a single or a double with one fixed pane or a, or a double with two fixed panes, or you can filter it based on the the width of the door. Um, so I'm going to say so I'll take this 3890 and that happens to be a uh, double sliding door with two fixed panes so I will take that one select that um, so as I said and, and, and as you as you may have seen in those uh, in that, that pocket door uh, previously that we that we released um, there are various options for for the lintel so I'll just Briefly show you those. So, if I took a combination lintel, it would then um, pre-select a, a, a suitable length if it can. Um, so, or with a with a loose steel, um, there are all sorts of different types of steels that you can then filter on, and uh, you know, and, and filter the width and, and the height to to select that. Uh, if you want a loose steel with a plate, 
it first asks you to pick the pick the steel, so I'll select that, and then it then it gives you a different plate um, to select. Um, concrete single leaf lintels. Um, so in this one, I don't think I've actually got one long long enough for this door. That's that's why nothing's been been pre-selected. Um, yeah, yeah, the max is, is three thousand, so that wouldn't be a suitable op, op, option for this. Um, uh, but yeah, there, there are various options in there, and then the steel single leaf lintels. Um, so I could pick up a, a couple um, for, for either, either leaf if I if I wanted. <clears throat> uh, I will. I'll stick with a with a combination combination lintel for this example. Um, so yeah, it it said okay, it's about thirty nine hundred. So you'll probably need one that's forty two hundred. Um, if I filter to that length, um, you'll then see that we've got three different ones suitable for a, a timber frame, sort of fifty to sixty mil cavity, or a hundred mil, or a, a two hundred and forty mil. So um, they're the different different options that I've got. So I'll, I'll pick the uh, the one for up to 140 mil cavity. Select that. <clears throat> then you get the option of uh, cavity closers. Uh, so I could say not required if I wanted to, but I'll pick a uh, 140 mil cavity closer and select that. And then I just get to say how many of the doors I need to price for. And then pick whether it is a um, a replacement door. So there's one existing. I'm just replacing it, or a or a new door into an existing wall. So I need to form the opening. So let's say that I'm replacing a door. Um, in this example, so it pulls through the dimensions of the door, um, height and and, and length and. Uh, various details, door area and, and on the perimeter to, to help, help with the estimating. Um, and I just wanted to pull your attention on, on, on this page two. Um, so there are, so it's asking whether you need to remove an existing door of the same size. Uh, if I said no to that, I could then enter in uh, an, an, an area. So if you're, if you are removing a door, but it's a different size, then you can say no, this is the area of the door and it, and it, will, it will allow for enough room to, to dispose of that. Uh, and then am I removing wall equal area to the door? Yes or no? And if no, um, what, what area of wall? So because I've said I'm replacing an existing door, it's, it's defaulted to zero, but I, I could then obviously alter that from there. Um, Okay, so that is that's an example of a door into an existing wall. Um, so let's now have a have a look at uh, a let, let's do a French door into a new wall. So um, yeah, so the, 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 this is the this is the other type of door that we've added a lot more sizes and, and, and options to. Um, so as you can see we, we can have a uh, we can have a double door a double door with one side light or with two side lights and have that in hardwood oak or PVCU. Um, so I'll pick a let's let's go with an oak Oak with a side light, 1460. So I'll take a 1460 door with a 610 side light. Um, select that. Um, so very, very similar process. Um, I'll pick a. Let's go with a loose steel with a plate. Um, I'm not going to uh, to spend any time deciding what I want. I'm just going to select something. So pick a steel, pick a plate. Uh, pick a cavity closer. Um, and then is it a factory finished door or does it require decoration? So I'll say it's factory finished. Okay, so so again, bring 
bring, brings all, all that information on the door through. Um, just just quickly, it's, so there, there are questions as to whether it's pre-hung, pre-glazed, whether it needs door furniture, whether it needs hinges, whether it needs a, a weather bar and a, and, a, and a door former. Is there a separate cavity tray? So all, all of these questions um, or items that it's estimating, they used to be um, they used to be in the in the sundry section of the estimating calculator. So again, they they were a bit hidden, particularly when you're when you're estimating through a quote template. Like, but yeah, and, and anything in the sundries is, is 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 a bit hidden, really. So so you kind of had to know that they were there to 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 go and go and choose whether you wanted them or not. So so again, converting them over has has meant that everything you know everything is available from this screen to say yes, I need that. No, I don't need that. Um, and, and, and and know that it's covered, and, and you don't have to go go um, dig, digging around within the within the actual estimating calculator uh, and the specification of it to to uh, turn those things on and off. Okay, so um, internal doors. We've done a done a similar thing with the internal doors. Um, <clears throat> so we've got. Um, let's see, we've got, got single doors, single fire doors, double doors, double fire doors, um, and th they all they all work in, in exactly the same way um, as the as the external doors that we've just looked at. So I won't I won't uh, go through that again again. Um, so yeah, they're they're replacing the the uh, the, the these templated sing, sing, single and, and double doors. So the typical fire doors, typical panel doors. Um, so yeah, the the we have these set up for for the different sizes into into block work and studying. So one with a one with a, a concrete lintel and one one with nothing. Um, so yeah, you 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 can obviously uh, you can obviously pick what what you need if anything um, above above the door now as 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 part of part of the the process of of uh, selecting the door. Um, Okay, so that's uh, that's the doors. Um, the next thing I wanted to show you are the structural openings. Um, so we've gone through a similar process with those. So um, we previously had uh, structural large and small structural openings um, to new and existing walls. So there were four different calculators. So we've We've condensed that down to two, one for existing walls and one for new walls. So let's uh, let's go with a new wall. Um, and again, this is this is allowing you to to pick exactly what you want um, over the opening. So do you want a combination lintel? Do you want steels? Do you want a steel with a plate? Or if it's if it's say a uh, uh, a small structural opening, so if it's a doorway structural opening, then maybe you'll you'll just want a, a single concrete lintel or a or a steel lintel. Um, but this and and this in particular um, has has very much excited our, our in-house estimating um, service and the, the the guys that work on that. Um, they they predominantly do um, takeoffs in in Plans Express. Um, so if you're if you're if you're doing takeoffs or um, originating plans within Plans Express and you and you put an opening in, um, then you know typically that there, there were the the one type of steel that, that we specified in the in the old calculators probably wasn't going to be right. So you had to remember um, once you'd imported it into Estimator. <coughs> To go into the to the calculator and and to change that for the for the correct steel. So it's um yeah it's it's really nice that you don't have to don't have to remember to do that now. You can you can specify it upfront um and and move on to the next thing. You know so same 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 thing with doors. You can you can get it get it set up um when you're thinking about about the door or or the opening and then and then forget forget about it and move on. So um. Yeah, so I can pick um, pick my first steel, 
um, and then I can pick a second one for the for the uh, for the second if I want, or I can say no, I only need one and, and choose not required. Uh, number of openings. And then it just bring, brings up the wizard, and you can then set the um, set the size of the opening uh, as required. Um, yeah, uh, labour number of hours to form opening. Fix the lintels, uh, and then do you need to plaster and decorate the reveals? Um, so yeah, ho ho hopefully you will uh, you'll uh, see that as a as, as a good step forwards. Um, and uh, possibly long awaited, um, but yeah, um, yeah, it's 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 definitely a definitely a, a, a real improvement, and just you know, just speed up the process of estimating for you, um, which which is always good. Um, okay, so one um, if I just go into go into floors now, one other thing that we've done um, uh, around this time. If I, in the universal beam and block floor, um, so universal being an, an, an any shape, um, so I'll just pick a template. So yeah, so, so, so this is it, an, an any, any shape one rather than a, a rectangular section where you enter a le length and a width, you enter the area and the, and the perimeter and then, then various other lengths. Um, because it's it's yeah it, it can't can't guess what what some of these lengths are. Um, but on if I just go to page four, you'll see. So the, the, the these are the only changes. These are the new options. Um, so you can say that it's plastered, decorated, and give a spacing of of seaming buttons. So previously it was only suitable for a ground floor beam block floor. So if you need to do an up floor beam block floor, that's it's now uh, now an option for you. It's now available to do that. Um, okay. Um, so the other thing that um, that's within this update is there was a massive amount of work went on into updating the building regs notes um, that are produced by Estimate Express for use with Plans Express. Um, so for those of you who who, who don't know plans express is our is our cab package um so if you're doing a design and you need to put it through um for building regs approval you can produce uh, a, a comprehensive set of notes um to to, to accompany the, the design um and and from the uh from the most recent building regs changes um we uh worked with a with a a consultant and an expert in the in the in the field to to update all of our notes. So there are a lot more. Uh, there's a lot more of them now. Um, but I, I I won't go into the detail on this because this is a an Estimate Express um, webinar. So yeah, I'll I'll leave that for a a discussion another day in a in a Plans Express setting. Um, okay, so that's that's really the bulk of the bulk of what's what's in this latest update. Um, the thing that we're working on currently for the for the next next big release um, is what we are calling universal walls. Um, so this is the idea that you can choose from a list of different mini specs um, to set each leaf or or finish to a leaf. So um, so you you can say right this is what i need for the external finish of the wall this is the external leaf this is the cavity detail this is the internal leaf this is the internal finish um so you'll be able to set up much more easily lots of different um lots of different uh, wall combinations that you either can't do today or, or you need to do using using different um different estimating calculators and again, it's you know it's just simplifying everything. So today, timber frame panels are priced separately, and you have to pick a site fabricated timber frame wall spec to make sure that you don't double up on that internal leaf. Um, cladding is priced separately. We don't have clad wall estimating calculators. So again, you have to have to remember to 
to, to knock out the, the external finish from the, from the main wall and then price for the cladding separately. So we're just bringing all of that together. Um, so you can have, um, you know, rendered SIPs walls or clad timber frame walls or brick slips on ICF walls, you know, all really easily um, ju just by selecting things for, for, for a few drop downs and then lots of different um, internal plastering options. Um, if you've come up, if you've seen the, the, the universal, universal, uh, uh, the room internal room renovation, I think it's called, um, calculator, um, then that, um, that's got lo lots of different options for, for plastering a wall internally. Um, and, and we're reusing all of those to on a, yeah, on the, on this new, um, universal wall calculator. Um, there's also going to be options to, um, to add uh, piers to the wall or to have a parapet at the top of the wall. Um, <clears throat> and also that, that there's going to be the option to have areas of different external finish um, to the wall. So you could have a rendered wall with, with various areas of cladding on it. Um, so it's going to allow you to, 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 to say, um, right, I've got a vertical strip of cladding two meters wide, or I've got a horizontal strip one meter high, or, you know, I've got a few different rectangular areas of, of cladding on top of this other wall type, and, and it will, and it will then do the sort of deductions of the, of the main finish and, and, and add on this, this uh, secondary um, external finish to the wall. So it, it's, it's, it's really exciting. Um, it's, it's going to be very time saving. Um, and, and, and that's, that's also why, um, um, get, get, getting back to the point of this webinar, that that that's why we've gone through adapting all of the, all of the doors in, into a more um, uh, flexible flexible way of doing things because we're yeah we're we're working on making the walls a lot more flexible, so you'll be able to have all sorts of different um, different setups for the walls. So 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 the the uh, the the, do the doors really needed updating to be able to. Uh, yeah, to, to, to complement those. So that's that's the next next big thing that we're working on. Um, and uh, yeah, I look forward to uh, to to getting that finished off and uh, being able to talk you through that one um, at a later date. Um, so yeah, that's that's about it um, from from me. So uh, yeah, thank you thank you for your for your time today. Um, I'll just have a quick look to see if there are any. Um, um, so one question has has come in asking if we have anything for picture frames steel. Um, no, not yet. Um, we certainly want to do uh, have options for goalposts and picture frames. Um, it's yeah, it's very much on the to do list, but it. But we haven't done it um, in, in 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 this round of updates. But yeah, watch this space on that one. We'll uh, yeah, it's it, it's certainly one one that comes up fairly frequently. And um, yeah, we uh, we would like to uh, like, like like to get round to doing so. Okay, so in, unless uh, unless anybody else has has any other questions on on uh, what I've shown you today or on Estimate Express in general whilst we're whilst we're here. Um, then I will I will finish off. Okay, so um, so okay, so somebody's asked about where to where to get the get the update from. Uh, very good question. So let me just bring over my my browser onto the screen. Um, okay, so if you go to yeah you go to help.hbxl.co.uk, it'll get you to here. Then you can go to software updates uh, and estimate express 2022 updates. Um, and and then it's the it's the download button there. So that's then going to ask you, I think, for your login details. Um, so hopefully, 
as with me, your browsers remember those. Um, otherwise, um, and if you haven't written them down, then uh, yeah, if you if you give the uh, give give the office a call in the morning, they should be able to help you out with uh, with what your what your login details are. Um, okay, well, yeah. Again, thank you very much for your time and uh, and for for continuing to use Estimator Express. Um, and I look forward to to uh, speaking to you again, either on the, either on on the support line or when we release our next update and uh, and I get to uh, get to talk to you about it. Okay, thank you. Goodbye.